Hi everyone. Um, I didn't make a video about this back in um, August last month because um, it wasn't a dream or vision or anything like that. But um, it was that still small voice, I believe, of the Holy Spirit. Now that you're looking, you know, hindsight. Um, anyways, um, on August 16th, um, my family and I went down to a, um, oh, we went to the Harvest Crusade in Anaheim. I believe that's the day it was. Anyways, we, we drove down, um, past Los Angeles over to Orange County. And, um, on the way there, um, twice, in fact, because we stopped to, to eat, um, on our way down there before we got to the harvest, um, I saw a billboard with a vacation, I forget what company it was, but it was a vacation, uh, billboard, you know, advertising for Cabo, Cabo San Lucas, and, um, and I was, you know, so the, the word Cabo just, you know, like stood out to me and I didn't know why. And so anyways, and then, um, when we got off the freeway, um, to eat, one of the streets that we accidentally turned down because we were like, we're supposed to be following, you know, the iPhone directions and we made a wrong turn. So, um, we had to backtrack and go back to where we were trying to find a restaurant that we had programmed into the phone. And um, one of the streets we turned on to backtrack was Cabo Street. And so, you know, I saw it twice um, within a couple hours. And then um, about a week after that, so like, I don't know, um, that was August 16th. About a week later, maybe five days later, um, the Lord brought Cabo into my mind. I just saw the words, the word Cabo in my, in my mind. And so I was like, okay. So, you know, me, I was thinking it's probably, you know, is it an earthquake? Because they do have um, bigger ones more often down in Baja, California, um, than we do here in California itself. But, um... I didn't pray about it or ask the Lord. I guess I should have. And next time I'll know. <laughs> so um, I really didn't think about it anymore. I, once in a while it came to my mind. Um, but then here's, you know, everybody knows uh, Category 3 hurricane came through on land in Mexico, West Mexico there, Cabo San Lucas. So that was like a never before, you know, powerful earth hurricane coming on land, okay, in uh, Central America there. So just rather strange as far as weather conditions go. And um, I guess I'll, I'll pray for uh, if they're going to be having a pending earthquake. They did have an uptick in earthquakes um, in the last week as well, I think actually the day before the hurricane actually hit um, they were having they had a couple of uh, four or fives but usually after the land mass gets uh, really drenched like that um, and it goes down into the layers of the earth and then it heats back up because we still have really hot weather here in the west coast um, I've always seen after torrents of rain and then the hot weather um, it, it causes uh, more division in the land masses so we'll see if there's a large earthquake pending for that area or not uh, that God didn't show me that I'm just I'm just saying that from scientifically that's usually what has happened as far as um, getting saturated with rain and then still having hot weather but sort of odd that this Odile um, hurricane hit and it was rather big and strange for the west coast and um, with that in mind if you look back at my video that I made um, posted on May 14 
about all things coming to pass by January 2017 when I prayed and asked the Lord um, what was going to be coming in the next 32 months. Um, he gave me a dream and basically, and I explained that in this video, what the dream was. I don't think all the separate sections of it, but the base, the gist of the sections, and then I explained the last section, it, that the visual part of the dream there. But basically he showed me hard times are indeed coming, and we see that with droughts, pestilence, Ebola, um, now the new uh, rentavirus um, and then uh, that's infecting a lot of children and then um, yeah hard times and hardships who knows what else is going you know when other things are going to be happening and then laws are going to be being changed for the worst from a Christian perspective and this has been happening for years with the past of the Patriot Act and Patriot Act and um, all the other uh, amendments they've passed that have um, dumbed down our Constitution, but it's still increasing and it's still going to be. Um, persecution of the Christians, this is, there's going to be an increase of that. It's going to keep escalating, not just with ISIS, but also amongst society, um, not tolerating our um, intolerance. <laughs> you know, our uh, preaching of the word and, and um, calling sin what it is. But we do see the persecution of the Christians with this group. And so that's already being fulfilled. Strange things happening with the weather. And in the world, skies, some supernatural things. So this is already happening now. And we see that more and more as all these volcanoes are erupting and sinkholes and... Um, methane holes releasing into the Atlantic and millions of fish uh, just coming up dead in Mexico. That was just a couple weeks ago and that's all maybe an indicator of a big earthquake down there happening as well. Um, but strange things were happening with the weather and so did we not see that with the Cabo San Lucas hurricane? And so the last thing all these things are still being fulfilled and will escalate um, to fulfillment uh, up until they have full control of us, um, the government, by January 2017. And who knows, in my opinion, this is martial law and perhaps it will be enacted by Obama for some reason before his uh, administration is over so that he can stay in power. I don't know, that's just a, a guess, but, the, but these things were what the Lord had shown me, um, hardships and um, laws being changed, persecution of the Christians, escalating, strange things happening with weather and in the skies, so still more things to happen, and then full control over us by the government, and I believe even taking away our second, our, our amendment to bear arms or a right to bear arms so anyways read Psalm uh, 32 and 91 for encouragement and uh, comfort because the Lord is always with us amen I just wanted to share that with you God bless